to be talking about finding angles of polygons, and this is day two of chapter seven, section one. Today's new topic, I'm talking about the sum of exterior angles. And what an exterior angle looks like, if I take a side of a polygon and extend it out, each side I extend it out, kind of looks like a spider web, the angles that it forms on the outside or on the exterior are going to be exterior angles. Let's try it on this triangle. Let's extend out those sides. And those angles that are formed on the outside are our exterior angles. And there is a rule about the sum of exterior angles. But I have something to show you first. It's an animation. So we have this polygon, and they've extended all of the sides out to show your exterior angles. And what it's going to do, it's going to combine all those angles together and when they all meet up it forms a circle this is true for all polygons and a circle is 360 degrees so we know that the sum of all the exterior angles for any type of polygon is going to be 360 degrees so we're going to use this piece of information to solve for missing pieces so let's look at our first example. We have a polygon with some exterior angles. We've noticed that because they're extended out. And we know that the sum of the exterior angles is going to be 360 degrees. So we can add all these up. We can say 3x plus 2x plus 75 plus 55 will equal 360 degrees because we're talking about exterior angles. Now what we have left to do is combine like terms. 3x and 2x is a 5x. And 75 and 55 is 130. What we're going to do next is we're going to subtract the 130. And we get 5x equals 230. Our last step is we're going to divide by 5, and we get, for our x value, 46. So if we notice that we have exterior angles, all we have to do is add those up and set it equal to 360. Let's try another one. We have exterior angles. I notice that because they're extended out. This time we have to be careful because those little boxes right there mean 90 degrees. So don't forget to add this into your equation. So let's start with the 90s. 90 plus 90 plus 50 plus 2x plus x equals, and since they're exterior angles, I'm going to set it equal to 360. Let's combine like terms. 2x and x is 3x. 90 plus 90 plus 50 is going to be 230. Next up, we're going to subtract by 230, and we get 3x equals 130. Divide by 3, and the value of x is going to be approximately 43.3. So we have to be able to recognize what exterior angles look like and know that their sum is equal to 360 degrees. Next up, we're going to use some information that we learned yesterday, but this time we're finding the measures of each interior angle and exterior angle of the indicated regular polygon, which means we're finding one interior and one exterior. Now, if we remember, the sum of an interior angle is 180 times n minus 2. But what we can do is we can take the sum and divide it by the number of sides and we get the formula for one interior angle. The same with one exterior angle. We can find one exterior angle by taking the sum, which is 360, and dividing it by the number of sides. So for number one, a hexagon. The number of sides is 6. So we can plug this into each of the formulas. So for one interior angle, we're going to plug in a 6 
for where the n is. And now we're going to simplify. We have 180 times 4 over 6. 180 times 4 is 720. Divide that by 6, and we get 120 degrees for our one interior angle. For one exterior angle, it's going to be 360 degrees divided by the number of sides, which is 6. And 360 divided by 6 is going to be 60 degrees for your exterior angle. So what I want you to do is try it for the 14 gone. I'm going to give you the answers. Check to see if you get the same answers for these. So for one interior angle, it will equal 154.3 degrees. For one exterior angle, it will equal 25.7 degrees. Next up, we're going to use the same formulas, but now we can kind of go in reverse. I can give you the angle measurement, and from that angle measurement, we can figure out how many sides that polygon has. So for the first one, I give you each interior angle, which has a measure of 162 degrees. So let's remember the formula for one interior angle. One interior angle will equal 180 times n minus 2 over n. So we're going to plug in our information that we know. We know that one interior angle is 162 degrees, so I'm going to plug in 162 for the one interior angle. Then I'm going to write out the rest of my formula, 180 times n minus 2 over n. Now when you have a fraction and an equation, to get rid of it, we multiply the denominator, we multiply both sides by the denominator. In this case, it's n. So we now have 162n equals, these cancel out to give us 180 n minus, uh, 180 times n minus 2. Now we've seen a problem like this before, so now we can do our regular algebra steps. Next, we're going to distribute. So we have 162n equals 180n minus 360. Now, if you notice, this is 162n. So we want to move over all the n's to one side. So I'm going to subtract 180n on both sides. I'm going to bring this over here. So if we do 162 minus 180, we get a negative 18n which is okay, because that 360 is also negative. Don't forget to bring over that negative with that 360. Next step, we're going to divide by negative 18. And a negative 360 divided by a negative 18 is going to be 20. So this polygon has uh, 20 sides. Let me show you this again for number 2. Each interior angle has a measure of 168 degrees. So we're going to start off with 168 equals 180 in minus 2 over n. So to get rid of that fraction, we're going to multiply by the denominator on both sides. So we now get 168 in equals, these cancel, 180 in minus 2. I can now distribute. So I have 168n equals 180n minus 360. I can subtract that 180n. So I do 168 minus 180, and we get a negative 12n equals a negative 360. Divide by a negative 12. So n will equal. 30. So we have 30 sides for that one. All right, let's do our next one. This time we're talking about each exterior angle. So we're going to use the one exterior angle formula, 
one exterior angle is equal to 360 over n. And since I tell you that the exterior angle is 18 degrees, then I'm going to plug it in where it says one exterior angle. So I'm going to say 18 equals 360 over n. To get rid of a fraction, we multiply by n on both sides. So we get 18n equals, so those cancel, 360. To get n by itself, we divide by 18. So the number of sides for this one will be 20. All right, let's do the next one. Each exterior angle for this one is 40 degrees. So we do 40 equals 360n. To get rid of that fraction, we multiply by n on both sides. And we get 40n equals 360. Divide by 40. And our number of sides is going to be 9. It's going to be 9 for that one.